Hey guys, Ryan here for Bender Wins with today's daily free pick. Hope everyone's doing well today. We hit three in a row yesterday and we're going for four in a row. I was a little bit dicey in the game yesterday. We got out to a nice early lead. And guys, in all honesty, I was going to give you guys that game yesterday, Boston, for the first five innings. Um, ultimately, my decision to go full game which, I mean, I would have won either way, but ultimately my decision to go full game was based on the fact that I want Boston to have all their at-bats. I mean, Boston Boston has better bats. I want them to have all their at-bats. My apprehension about betting Boston full game is Matt Barnes. It, honestly, is Matt Barnes. He is such a liability in the bullpen, and I was very concerned that if we did have a close game, they're gonna bring him out for a save. He's not a terrible relief pitcher, but he's the worst closer I've seen in many, many years. Sorry, Matt, you are. He has four saves this year, and seven blown saves. And had they left him in after he gave up those initial two walks, he we walked the first two batters he saw, or sorry, gave up two hits, the first two batters in the ninth inning. He would have had blown save number seven. Luckily, they acted and they squeaked out a win. Honestly, guys, I was thinking, I was, I was actually, when I was watching that game, I was pretty upset because I've seen it a lot of times where, you know, you take a two-run a two lead in and, you know, get the first two men on, then they have bases loaded. And I'm thinking, why didn't I go first five like I originally planned? But at the end of the day, guys, I figured the value in that game, more of the value in that game, was having Boston have more at-bats. So anyways, that's why I went full game. But when I saw Matt jogging out of the bullpen, I'm like, oh my God, here we go. <laughs> I was right. Um, a couple other things, guys. Yesterday in the football game, NFL game, um, I'm sure most of you watched it yesterday. I, I posted on, on Facebook a couple social media things. I, I, didn't, I didn't say one way or the other. I think people got the idea what team I was on. Because I don't want to start releasing picks left, right, and center here. But I think people got the idea what team I was on. But it was more of a cautionary tale, guys. I said, you know, if you're playing on Tennessee, I would be very, very careful. And I posted what the public was doing. Okay, I posted two different pictures. This is on Facebook I did this. I posted two different pictures um, showing basically the public all over Tennessee. I spent an hour, an hour in a chat room just listening to people talk about, <laughs> about how Tennessee was going to absolutely dominate. Okay. Um, needless to say, I, this, this game was close for me. I almost, I almost didn't play this game, but at the end of the day, the deciding factor for me, I was leaning towards Jacksonville earlier on in the day. And the deciding factor for me was public sentiment. How much the public loved Tennessee. Okay. And then looking and seeing 65% of that money coming in on Tennessee, the play was Jacksonville. So again, guys, keep yourselves informed. Don't let Vegas take you down the wrong path. Okay. Um, 65% of the money and they didn't move that line. They wanted that money there. They, you know, they're good at this. They wanted the money there. Um, there, there's a lot of places that, you know, you can, you can find information, but uh, again, guys, there's another one for you, you know, chat rooms, whatever, just go on there, listen, soak it in. Don't, don't sway conversation one way or another. Don't get involved. Okay. I know you might want to say, oh no, but this team's got 65. No, organically, just let it happen. Let the conversation flow. See what the vibe of the public is guys. Get the feel for it. It's no different than when you're in Vegas you hang around the sports books, guys. And the reason why I spend all day in the sports book. I mean, absolutely all day. My girlfriend can attest to that. She'd come down and say, you ready to go? I say, no, I'm not ready to go, guys. It's, you know, yeah, I do enjoy watching sports, obviously, but the information and the vibe you get in the sports book, you get the feel for what the public's doing. And at the same time, you know what? You have conversations with some of the guys that, I mean, once you get to know people that you know are sharps, um, they're not always going to feed you the right information, but sometimes, you know, you have to read between the lines, but you really, really get the feel for the public guys. Um, you know, and sports book, like pe people are just talk to anyone, like talk to people, you know, say, Hey, like, who do you like? People love giving their opinion on sports, believe me. Um, and you really, I'm sorry to say this, you have to take it with a grain of salt. Like 
you know, if someone says, I absolutely love Washington and tonight, Washington can't lose. Don't go up and buy a Washington ticket. That's the last thing you want to do. But try and figure out why he's thinking that. Why does he think that, right? So anyways, guys, um, lots of information out there. Uh, I hope some of you guys listened to me and, and laid off Tennessee or went on Jacksonville yesterday. Um, but anyways, guys, got our win. Baseball, 3-0. and um, And on to tonight. So uh, tonight, a few interesting plays I was looking at. Um, I had an under I was looking at in baseball, and I, I just I couldn't get myself to pull the trigger on it just because of the pitching. Um, but anyways, guys, what I ended up going with is um, definitely, in my opinion, the, the best play today. And it's Florida International, Louisiana Tech. Um, right now, so th- this is a line. This is a line that opened up at eight. It went higher. Um, it, it made me a little, I, I, like, I like Florida International from the very beginning. But having a line open up at eight, I was a little apprehensive about that because, you know, anything that opens up at eight, eight and a half, seven and a half, seven and a half is really scary. I mean, that's, that's Vegas saying, look, you get a touchdown and then some. And I was apprehensive about that. So I, I kind of missed the boat a little bit on that because there's been a ton of steam, a ton of steam. And that's like, you know, sharp betters are all over. There's been reverse line moves. Um, and that line dropped to seven. Now, I want eight. Eight would be fantastic. Um, so, our, our play today is going to be Florida International. We have them at seven. Um, I've actually seen the line at some places start to drop to six and a half. So, Vegas is trying to get some money on, on Louisiana Tech. And I, I kind of misread the game in the beginning, I think. Um, missed out on that extra point. But I'm happy at seven. We're not going to take it at six and a half, guys. So most books still have it at seven. Um, if you have to, you know, buy the hook up to seven, you know, laying minus 115, I'd say minus 120 at the absolute most. Don't go past minus 120, but you should be okay there. Um, so Florida International plus seven. Um, you know, not only are we betting with the Sharps in this, guys, but we're betting with Vegas as well. 42% of the bets, only 45% of the money on Florida International. So um, we win tonight, Vegas wins, the Sharps win, and that's the side we wanna be on. Um, yeah, so one, one last thing I wanna leave you guys with, cause we're coming up on the weekend and we have um, lots of college football, lots of NFL, but I specifically wanna give you guys a little tip for college football, okay? Um, this is something that I think a lot of people are aware of this, but still you see the public getting absolutely crushed when this happens. Okay. When you have ranked teams, guys, I mean, ranked teams, you know, your top 25 teams, when you have a ranked team that comes into a game as an underdog, don't take them. That's just, that's just a blanket rule. And you know what? Again, I don't like, I don't just laying out rules and saying, okay, under no circumstance, do this, do that, do that. But I'm, I'm telling you guys, I mean, there's obviously situations where, you know, it'd be an advantage to do that. But I'm saying if you guys just lay off ranked teams that are underdogs, you will save yourself a ton of money. Most times they're trap lines. <clears throat> you ever looked at one of those games? You see, you know, the number 21 seed is getting four points against, you know, so-and-so and you think, wow four points. I mean, that, that's really scary because of four points. So Vegas is saying, well, not only will we give you a field goal, we'll give you an extra point, right? So um, it's games like that that are scary, guys. I'm not saying bet against it. I'm not saying that at all. Then you would have to do your own independent analysis. What I am saying is lay off those games, okay? Lay off taking um, the ranked team as an underdog, all right? So Anyways, guys, that's it for today. I really appreciate all the support. We're going for four in a row. Florida International, plus seven. Let's go. Um, And we'll be back tomorrow. Um, I actually might post my video later tonight, um, just depending on um, the games we're taking for tomorrow and what time. But um, as always, guys, please uh, subscribe. And make sure you turn on the little notification bell. It's down there somewhere. There. Um, 
Turn on the little notification bell, guys. That'll notify you whenever I post a video, and that way you're not going to miss any picks, especially on the weekend, guys. They come in fast and furious. Uh, as I did last weekend, I ended up posting um, not only a pick in the morning, but I also did an afternoon pick. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that this weekend because um, I haven't narrowed it down to the exact, you know, best game or two best games or whatever, but um, it may happen, guys. So anyways, thank you very much as always. Really appreciate it, and we'll talk to you soon. As always, guys, have a good day.